let us study what are the various operating system components which are available in, in the previous video we have listed all those os components now let's discuss these os components one by one the very first is the process management basically your operating system should have an ability to load execute suspend resume or terminate the processes irrespective of from which hardware they come they should have all these abilities if, if a current is being executed if a new process appears which is of higher priority the current pr process need to be suspended or terminated depend upon the priority take up the next part load that particular part execute that particular part and then once this is terminated it has it should have ability to again resume the second process which was left in the mid so basically your operating system should have the ability to load execute process and suspend all these processes even it should have a ability to switch among multiple processes when I have multiple processes rather than making my hardware available to only one specific processor I can make the operating system designed in such a way that this hardware is equally distributed among multiple processes so that none of the processes will feel that I have been kept in a waiting state for a long period so basically your process management should perform all those tasks Apart from that, it should provide some basic communication mechanism. It should have a communication mechanism so that the processes can send and receive the data from the other processes also. So the process communication is one part of process management. Then it should have a process to allocate and deallocate resources properly so that it can prevent deadlock situation. Now what do I mean by deadlock situation? Suppose if one process keeps on using the resources for a very long period. So what it has to do? It should not be under a long waiting state. Or if there is a common resource which is used by multiple processes. There is process 1, process 2 which need a common resource. So what it does is process 1 will also try to hunt that particular resource. Process 2 will also hunt to that particular resource. In that particular hunting process, probably none of them will be able to accept that particular resource. Or if one takes up the resource, it might use for a longer period. And the other will wait, will go into a waiting state. This hunting process is called as a deadlock situation. So we should not have that particular situation. These are some of the basic components of the process management. So the process management should have ability to load create, execute, suspend or terminate the process. It should have ability to switch among the processes. It should have a process communication system and it should be, it should be designed to avoid deadlock situation. Now, the next uh, uh, component of operating system is IO management. The IO management is basically to share the IO devices or the hardware devices among the user, but without providing the details of the particular hardware it should hide the details of hardware it should have ability to manage main memory device using the cache memory or buffering or spooling the main memory should be used or shared should be shared among the devices using various techniques it should have ability to manage or maintain the device hardware or the device driver interfaces so Apart from that, we, we can say that it should, it should basically have a IO control management. The, the control unit should manage these IO devices among all the uh, uh, processes which are available. So it should have uh, IO uh, devices shared without being uh, given the details, that is hiding part. It should have a main memory uh, device management which should have the uh, uh, among the various devices say using cache uh, technique using buffering or using spooling and then you should have uh, ability to have the device driver interface now let's deal with the third management of the third component of the os that is main memory management now these are some of the tasks which have been said using main memory basically your memory management should have a memory utilization technique it should maximize the utilization of main memory it should always keep a track of the memory area 
being used for who? Which hardware or which process is used, which block of memory? And as and when the memory becomes redundant, it should have an ability to allocate and deallocate these memory. Those are some of the management components of this particular memory. Now, the next is file storage management. What are this particular file storage management component says? It says that it's your operating system should have ability to manipulate, delete and create multiple files, multiple directories. Your Windows does that. You do that regularly. You, you share the devices, you manage the files, you delete the files, you delete the directories, you create directories, all the stuff. So your operating system should have that. Your operating system should be able to allocate, deallocate and defragment blocks. If, if a file is being very large in nature, and if the sufficient memory is not available, it should be able to allocate a new block of memory and then later on it should have a connectivity. Or you, if, if some blocks are redundant in the mid, you can defragment that and then merge that so that the operation of reading is much more simpler. Bad block marking. If some memory, if some areas, some files are, are being corrupted permanently because of damage in that particular hardware, you should not make the entire hardware as redundant. You should mark that particular memory block as a bad block and make the hardware not to use that particular memory. That particular uh, technique has to be designed by the operating system and that is the task of file storage management. And should be able to schedule the multiple I.O. requests to optimize the performance. So obviously many devices will be using the uh, hardware and there will be so many requests which will be appearing. So scheduling has to be done properly so that it can better the performance. Otherwise if I do that then probably you can keep on shuffling and somewhere in the middle you lose out the track and probably the entire system crashes down making the optimization or the performance almost zero. That should not be the part of the, the operating system. So these are some of the tasks which have been handled by the file storage management. Now, the next component is protection. Basically, when I say that a operating system has to be designed, your operating system should be designed so that it can have a better hardware resource, it can protect that hardware resource, it can protect that particular kernel resource, it can process the code, it can process the data, and a lot amount of programs which are, which are supposed to be protected from some malicious or virus programs. So that component, that protection has to be given by the operating system itself. The next component is networking. Now, when I say networking, the operating system should be designed not just as a standalone machine. The operating system should be designed so that when a large task appears, it should be shared among multiple users. So it should have a client server technology or it should have a distributed uh, operating system so that a large task can be shared among multiple users and then it can be managed among different users. Definitely, this will be the need of industry. If networking is not there, probably the industry will not work. Because you can't ask one individual to do the entire application on his own. There will be multiple people who need some common resources shared and ultimately everyone will be developing their own models and these models are supposed to merge and then the entire application is supposed to be done. And the last component is command interpreter. Now basically what a command interpreter does. A command interpreter allows the human user interaction. So I can now design some basic commands like um, when we do shortcuts they are nothing but the commands for operating system. Windows has got some, some basic components like control C or control V for shortcut keys for, for copy and paste. Similarly on an, on an operating system called as a disk operating system, you have command called as a DEL, we have, we have command called as edit, we have command called as RM, we have command called as RMDIR. So there are various commands, so it should, it should allow this particular user. So the last component is a command interpreter. Now basically when an OS or operating system is designed, you should, you should design it for some specific commands. Like the command to say uh, create files, the command to say delete files, the command to create directories, the command to say uh, uh, delete directories or editing the contents or storing the contents, all the stuff. So basically you should allow the human user interface to interact with the OS. 
that is using commands if you are using windows then probably it is a menu driven task we right click that we cut that we copy that we paste into the specified place if it is a disk operating system that is dos there we go for say typing the commands like a del for delete to observe the contents we use a dir for rmdir to delete the directory all the stuff so basically we use some commands so it has to be either a menu driven task or a command task which has to be done now apart from that it should provide convenient programming environment to the user the operating system has to be friendly enough so that programs which are designed using the compiler technology should be able to access the resources the user should be given a friendly environment so that he can load his programs work with the hardware using this particular operating system interface and the last uh, task of this particular command interpreter is to execute a command by calling one or more number of underlying system programs or system calls so basically when i say a command a interpreter a command interpreter should have ability to execute more than one command using this particular system programs or even you can make a system call and make this particular user command work um say for any operation of your choice these are some of the os components operating system components so process management memory management io management file management production networking and then the final command was command interpreter those are some of the os components so if they say that you are supposed to write a shortcut on this particular os components list out all these components and then specify two line or three line paragraph for each of these components that will be sufficient for this particular task called as os components thank you